welcome back to my channel guys now if you're interested in joining my discord the links on the top of the screen or in the description down below or if you're interested in seeing what I've done with my two servers um, I've got a rusty bullet hole server which is now a five times with all the mods and I've also got a primitive rust server called dark ages with lots of mods as well which is obviously primitive so there's no guns and um, restrictions on buildings and things so yeah go check them out okay welcome back to my channel guys now if you're following along with this rust server tutorial series then welcome back but if you're here just to work out how to make your modded server a two times five times or whatever times you want to you are in the right place let's get straight into it so first off what you want to do is go into your browser and type umod gather manager hit enter and then the top search should come up and it's called gather manager by ryan and that's in the, in the umod so we go into that and this is the one we want gather manager by ryan so this is the one we're looking for so we download that that will now be in my download folder so now i can close my browser then what i'm going to do is i will load up my rust server um, so for me i go into my c drive into my rust server folder and i will run my run ds batch file so i will come back to you as soon as that's loaded up okay now that my server is loaded up what I can do is I'll quickly go into load up rust and then we will join the server so I'll just minimize this server window and we will load up rust okay now that rust is loaded I will join my server so my server is called adders server so there it is so I'll quickly come back when I'm loaded into this okay now that the server is loaded up what we can go ahead and do is copy the gather manager mod that we've just downloaded and place that into our oxide plugins folder so to do that you need to navigate um, to your rust server folder so for me that's in my c drive so i go into my rust server folder then i go into the rust ds folder then into oxide folder and then into the plugins folder so this is where you put your um, plugins so then I need to navigate to my downloads folder which is got my gather manager mod in it so I'll right click copy that and paste that into my plugins folder so now that gather manager is in my plugins folder that mod is now installed on the server so if we go back into the server um, if I run up to a tree and hit it I get five wood. I think sometimes you get six, but um, yeah, it's five wood. So what we do is we press F1, good to go into the console. Make sure it's in the console by clicking the word console in the top left corner. And in here, what we're going to type is gather dot rate space dispenser dispenser space. Now what we do next is. I'm going to show you first how to do it so it changes all the dispenser rates up. So for example, a dispenser rate would be like anything that gives you stuff like wood, stones, metal or sulfur. They're the dispensers. So if I press a star, that means all of them. So it's an asterisk. Then space. So a one would be vanilla. So that would give you normal. So it wouldn't change anything. So if I want to make my server three times, I change that to three. So gather dot rate space dispenser space star space three enter it says you have now set the gather rate for everything to times three for resource dispenser so when i hit a tree now it gives me 15 three times the amount so same with stones sulfur and everything there is one thing other thing you can do though is you can change each um dispenser individually so i'll show you that now so you would type gather dot rate space dispenser then instead of putting the star which is everything I could say do wood and then I could change wood to five times okay so it's now changed wood to five times so if I go over here now hit a tree I get 25 but the problem with doing things individually is now if I wanted to change it back to vanilla for example so I would go back to gather rate dispenser with the star and change it back to one that's now changed everything back to vanilla but because 
we changed the wood manually on its own, it's kept, it should have kept its five times value. See? But everything else has dropped down to vanilla. So it can be quite more work if you start doing everything individually. So if you wanted to remove that individual one, I'll show you how to do that. So what we do is we go back into the plugins folder, um, C drive, let's say um, C drive Rust server, Rust DS folder, Oxide folder, and then we go into the, rather than the plugins folder, we go into the config. If we go into the config, you'll find gather manager. So we go into that and edit it. And then what you'll find here, is you scroll down a little bit, and under options here, these are all the modifications that I have made since I've been on the server. Hence, I've done a blanket star, which has changed them all, and I put it back to vanilla and it's on one. But see where it says wood five? See, because I made that manual wood, it's kept wood at five times. So if we want to remove that, we need to delete this line. <coughs> Keep going back until it jumps up to the next line but then what we need to do is remove that little comma thing at the bottom there so there we go remove that so once that's removed because always on your last line that mustn't that mustn't be there so I've just removed that so I can file save that now file save go back into the server and I just have to reload the mod from inside the server to do that you do oxide dot reload space gather manager um, you always have to use the capital letters on your mods to make sure it's exactly the same so capital G capital M press enter that's reloaded that now oops I don't know why alt tab then so when I hit the tree now it should be back down to vanilla see so now when I make a blanket change across the whole server again so if I do gather dot rate dispenser back to uh, three times on everything when I hit the tree, it should be back on three times. There it is, 15 wood. Right, next next one we've got is for pickups. So cloth, pick up stone, pick up wood. So what we type in gather dot rate space pickup. And then we do exactly the same. We can use the star to do all the pickups and we can change it to three times. And then, oh, I keep pressing alt tab there, I don't know why. So, when I pick up a cloth, for example, I think it normally gives 10. It gives me 30 instead. So, that's exactly the same. And, like I said, with the um, like with the dispenser one, you can do everything individually. So just, just by replacing the star with, say, cloth or something like that, or wood. And you can do all of them individually if you want. But just remember, you might have to go into the config file change it if you want to start doing blanket ones and the last one is um, gather dot rate quarry and you can do the same on that but we don't really use the quarries on the games unless you want to add them into the game um, but if you do that you might you might want to do the survey charges as well but um, I'm gonna leave that I'm not gonna go into that one because no one really ever uses them so it's just the pickup and the dispensers the ones you want to make your server two times three times or five times hope this has helped you guys if you have any problems don't forget to drop a message in the um, a comment and I will do my best to try and get back to you and help you out if you need it so yeah I will catch you guys later I'm gonna